Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, The Raven, here, gonna take you through Survival Roof Hard. Uh, in my personal opinion, uh, one of the mo it can get a little hairy in the middle part. Um, the reason being is because uh, you don't have any ground to plant on, so you, some plants you cannot use, like spike weeds and spike rocks, which which we use mostly mostly to defeat. Uh, the vehicle zombies, which the Zamboni drivers at this level can be brutal. But anyway, uh, we're starting our defense, so make sure we bring uh, sunflower, twin sunflower, and you also want to bring flower pots. Uh, let's bring potato mines, and since this is a roof, um, until you get on top the top tiles, the pea shooter plants are pretty useless. So we're going to take cabbage pots and uh, watermelons and winter uh, melon pulps and uh, last time I played this I used chompers but I'm going to throw it a different strategy this time and uh, let's also bring uh, pumpkin shells squash and let's rock as you can see I purchased a rake so that buys us some time to help us build up our sunflower army Uh, we're going to focus on sunflowers first, and we're not going to lay down uh, pots yet. You know, you have a potato mine ready for that, which is weird. You can put a potato mine in the pots, but you can't put a spike weed on top of the pot. That's pretty weird to me, but oh well. Uh, And uh, also, umbrella leaves are vital in this stage. And why? Because they, they prevent the zombie... Alright, now that we have our sunflowers laid out, we'll start laying out pots. And I'm going to get a melon pole since I can afford one already. Now remember, we're going to eat up two of these sunflowers and replace them with the uh, umbrella leaves. Lay down squash for this guy. And we're, we're mostly going with cabbage plants in the beginning. It's just I, I decided to splurge a little bit and get that uh, melon pole. But that's not necessary at this point. Now, now we're going to lay down our line of pots.
And uh, there's a double zombie that's out there. Let's get a squash. Well, no, it looks like they're going down. Anyway, I twinned some flowers already. I should put that squash up top. But I have jalapenos and cherry bombs, luckily, so. Let's get them with a jalapeno, right? Eh? A little, little squash in preparation for that guy. Now we're gonna lay pots up to this uh, row right here. Oh, let's see. Up to the seventh row. I mean seventh column. This seventh column. This seventh column right here. I'm sorry. Get more uh, twin sunflowers, and uh, let's start getting more melon pulps. And we're gonna protect our forward rows. Squash for that guy. And that's why we're gonna get umbrella leaves later on because every wave and uh, this mode has those support them old ambush bungee zombies. And there's a simple way to prevent that from happening, which I'll show you in the next round. This round I just wanted to show you to build up the basic defenses. So next round we're gonna prepare for the bungee zombies and. Uh, Looks like we got more cannon fodder, so we don't have to worry too much about the next round. Let's see here. Um, we're gonna need more potted plants. We're gonna take more sunflowers. We're gonna double up on our. We're gonna double up on our uh, pumpkin shell defense. We're gonna start covering all our plants. Melon pulse and winter melons. Also, umbrella leaves. Okay, and uh, explosives, and jalapenos, okay, alright, well I appreciate y'all watching, stay tuned for part 2 of this series, I don't want to let the video get too long, uh, you know, people have busy lives, busy, you know, don't have time to watch videos, you know, they're 15, 20 minutes long. So, and plus that keeps my upload times down. Do uh, not have an extra long video. So we have our opponents for the next round, which are pretty weak. So we're going to start building up our offense and uh, more defense. Uh, I'm your host, The Raven. I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for part two.